हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑन एफ पी जी पोर टाइपिंग एक्सपीरियंस वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज आई शेयर माई पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस ऑन एफ पी जी पोर टाइपिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अबाउट पावर ऑन रीसेट एंड वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न हाउ द रीसेट वर्क इन साइड द एफ पी जी डिजाइंस दिस वीडियो इज इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फ्रेशर्स एज वेल एज वेरी एक्सपीरियंस पीपल एंड आई मेक यू श्योर दैट this is going to add something very informative to your knowledge talk now without wasting much time let us see what is inside this video friends to make you understand the concept of reset or power on reset i have taken a example of a very small code that is a counter code most of you use in your very log files here i have taken always at the rate positive edge of the clock or positive edge of the reset this is asynchronous reset of type activify if reset is 1 then count will go to decimal 3 this d stands for decimal 3 else that means if reset is released count will keep on incrementing that means this count will keep on incrementing by 1 In this case I have tied this reset signal to one of the FPGA IO and now let us assume that this reset is connected to one of the switch which keeps this reset signal logic zero till it is not pressed friends now let me ask you one question just assume that I program this bit file inside the FPGA but make sure that I am not going to press this reset switch that means I am not going to assert this reset this reset will be always zero Now you have to tell me what will be the initial value of this count will it be 0 or will it be 3 friends you can try to put your logic and if you know its answer please write it down in the comment section and we can discuss it there otherwise i will reveal its answer okay let me reveal its answer its answer will be 3 the counter will have an initial value of 3 but we are not going to press reset right we are not going to press this reset switch how come the value of counter can be 3 but its answer is 3 now let me reveal it why the count is 3 even when reset is not pressed friends to answer your question i am going to take help of one of the xilinx document that is user guide 900 in this document they have given a concept of global set reset signal now this is let us assume that this is one of the flip flop inside your counter this is user programmable logic register and this is external reset which should be connected to clear of this flip flop but logic is little bit different because vivado has inserted this or gate and another input is global set reset signal even though you are not asserting this reset our flip flops are getting default value or the initial value with the help of global set reset signal but when is this signal getting asserted as soon as you program the bit file inside the fpgas this initialization controller assert this global set reset signal so that all the flip flops inside our design can get the initial value even though we have not pressed the external reset signal but where does this global set reset signal come from actually it comes from a startup block there is a dedicated hard coded block inside the fpga which is called startup block that gives this global set reset signal and it has a dedicated reset routing inside the fpga this global set reset signal goes to all the flip flops inside the design and that is how all the flip flops get initialized even if you don't press the external reset friend this gsr is asserted by initialization controller only once when you program a bit file otherwise at all the other times you have to control the reset value of all the flip flops with the help of user reset only that is why it is called power on reset friends just for your information in all the asic chips there is a dedicated circuitry to initialize all the flip flops and that circuitry issues a power on reset as soon as the chip is powered up that circuitry asserts the reset so that all the flip flops inside the asic chips also can get initialized friends with this i am going to end this session and i hope that you would have enjoyed this and it would be quite informative for all of you if you also like this video please press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section In future also we are going to create many such videos so to be aligned with our channel don't forget to subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notification of all the upcoming videos thank you so much for watching